Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video we're going to be doing another Ungoro card review. Getting started with this card you see over here on the left, Hydrologist, which is a 2 mana 2-2 two, two Paladin minion. And uh, this Murloc, Battle Cry, Discover a Secret, means that you can get one of the few Paladin secrets that are still available in Standard Mode, or Wild if you happen to be playing Wild, but let's be real, who plays Wild. So, uh, Battle Cry, Discover a Secret. Um, Paladin secrets generally accepted to be relatively weak. We don't know if we're getting any new Paladin secrets this time, uh, but if we do have some good new secrets, then this will be a better card. But as it stands, 2-2 uh, tends to need to give you something good, pretty valuable. You're kind of thinking the Rogue Death Battle minion that gives you a random card from your opponent's class. That's probably going to be stronger than an average secret. Or a Dark Paddler which I think is rotating out of standard now at this point, but Battle Cry, discover a random one, co uh, discover a one cost card. You get one of three choices, of course. So uh, the secrets, probably not going to be quite as strong. So this is a card that would probably only fit into a Murloc deck, specifically Murloc cards tend to be weak on their own, but good with synergy. And this kind of falls in line uh, about the same. I would say this card's actually a little stronger than the average Murloc. So if you're playing Murlocs, it seems playable. Um, maybe it could be an anything can happen deck? I don't know. Uh, problem with that is, of course, you ruin the combo, but hey, it's worth considering, and you could even consider it in just kind of a paladin control deck that might want to play some secrets, but doesn't want to waste a slot on having a secret in your deck. You could basically get the secret you want most of the time. So, in any of those cases, uh, it's a card that's worth considering at the very least, and I like that they're adding more Murloc cards. So next up we have the Caverns below, and this is the new Rogue Quest. So you play four minions with the same name during a game, and you get rewarded with Crystal Core, which is this. Five mana for the rest of your games. Your, uh, for the rest of the game, your minions are five fives. Um, so uh, the problem with this is, well, I guess I wouldn't say so much a problem, but it is a little tricky to get this effect off. You'd have to basically be building a deck that is very bounce heavy or clone heavy, and they are adding some cards to get extra copies of a minion. I mean, uh, Shadowcaster was one before, still playable on standard. Thistle T, Shadow Step, Youthful Brewmaster, and uh, the River Sticks dude are all options for getting uh, two extra copies in your deck. And um, the quest card itself. It's obviously not really meant for a late game control deck, but maybe like a aggro or mid range deck that kind of goes into the mid late game. That extra stat boost can kind of carry you to victory, and kind of the same way a Jade Golem deck would have, but uh, building up to that point in a vastly different way. So you, the cards in your deck would be different, but uh, you'd still kind of play minion heavy or tempo heavy or something like that. Now, uh, here's a card that goes along with that to kind of make that synergy happen. Mimic Pod, draw a card, add a copy of it to your hand. So this is actually pretty comparable to the Mage's Arcane Intellect. Um, I, I think this will be established pretty well that copies, extra copies of the same card aren't quite as valuable as just drawing another card from your deck. But if you're specifically trying to complete that quest, then uh, this actually does become very relevant as an effect. And this is much better than Thistle Tea because you're getting two cards for three mana as opposed to three cards for six mana. Three mana is a lot easier to uh, spend, you don't have to wait as long into the game, and it could be a good filler turn. Um, so let's see, uh, overall Mimic Pod's going to be pretty solid, I think. It doesn't necessarily have to be played with the quest, it could just be a pretty good card draw card for Rogue. Uh, three copies though, like with Thistle T, I think that's pushing it. I, I don't think this quest is good enough to make Thistle T a thing, but um, Mimic Pod, yeah, sure, definitely. Okay, next up, Tolvir Warden. So this is a 5 mana 3-5 for Hunter. Wow, amazing. You know, Hunters have just, just been doing so well lately. Battle Cry, draw two one-cost minions from your deck. Uh, that's actually a pretty powerful effect in some ways. So if you say it's like an Arcane Intellect, then it's like, well, you get a crappy 3-5, 4 mana minion, and then you slap one mana on and you get draw two. Uh, or draw from your deck, which in some ways is almost even better because it thins your deck out. Uh, but one cost minions at turn 5 plus tend to not be that impactful. I mean, unless you're going to do some Tundra Rhino deck. Tundra Rhino, Alley Cat, um, the one that gets buffs when you, you beast die, maybe. But 
as just a draw card. Uh, it's something that Hunters really lack, so this is an option. And if you're playing like a aggressive mid rangey deck that happens to use Alicat, which is one mana, two one ones, but not bad, uh, or Fiery Bat, then hey, Tovia Warden actually seems like a decent card, but it's not much for a face deck, I think. Because you gotta play to that at least turn six for it to be worth it. Um, you could compare it to small time recruits from Paladins, which was uh, three mana, draw three one cost minions from your deck. I would say this card's probably better than that, because you get a 3-5 body on top of it for just 2 mana more. I think that's worth it. Okay, next up. Okay, this card people have been already kind of going ape shit over. So 1 mana minions tend to have that effect where if they're good, it, it's just kind of crazy good, right? Because, um, like Lepernome, used to be 2-1, deal 2 damage to your opponent, and a, a 1 mana minion could easily do at least 4 damage to your opponent, and uh, that really adds up and made aggro decks a thing. Um, so beyond that, uh, this is Glacial Shard, a 1 mana elemental, 2-1, which is average aggressive early game stat line, that's fine, but the battle cry is to freeze an enemy, and usually for freezing an enemy you needed something like an Ice Lance or a Frost Bolt or a Frost Nova or something else of that nature. Uh, freezing an enemy is a pretty powerful effect, I would say, uh, kind of worth 1 mana, I mean sometimes you would Ice Lance a minion. Uh, just to freeze it rather than DL4 damage. So you could argue freezing, you know, kind of like half a mana or three quarters of a mana. I mean, freezing potion wasn't played much, but that was um, that was a zero mana mage spell. But this is a freeze combined with a minion. And if, if you play this early, you can stop opponent rogues from hitting it the next turn. You can play it later in the game as a freeze effect to just get that crucial churn where they don't get to trade, and that really screws them over. Um, I mean, Freeze in the right situation can be pretty good. It's just that for Frost Elemental, the classic 6 mana 5-5, five five, the, the stat line wasn't good on that minion, and it's just too much of a late game card for it to really justify it just for that effect. Uh, but, you know, I, I think Glacial Shard is going to see some play. I mean, you could actually argue it shatters worth it when you have this card in your deck. So, you get a 1 mana minion, 2-1, and then for 2 extra mana, you get to destroy any minion. So, it's like 3 mana, destroy a minion, develop a 2-1, two, 2 cards. That seems solid. It, people have been saying that's like, oh, the new Execute, right, for mages. Uh, Shadow is not bad, there's just not too many good worthwhile freeze effects. But I think this is a solid minion, a worthwhile freeze attack, uh, freeze minion. And uh, beyond that, they already said that they want elementals to be pretty popular in mages. The two main elemental classes, shaman and mage. I could definitely see this being in like a frost mage deck. So uh, beyond that, you could also play it with corruption and warlock. That's really solid. I, I loved the combo with frost elemental corruption. And this is a much better version of that. Like two mana, delete a minion. As long as they don't have silence, but who's playing silence right now? So yeah, there's some nice possibilities for this Glacial Shard minion, and uh, hopefully they won't have to nerf it. I don't think it's that bad, it's just kinda on the better side of one-drop minions. So, probably not gonna break the game like some pirates did, like a small-time buccaneer, but it's really good. I, I think it's really good. Okay, my eyes are going kinda crazy now, but hey. Okay, and this is the last one for today, a new priest minion. Three mana, three, three. Curious Glimmer Root. So, this is Battlecry. Look at three cards. Guess which one started in your opponent's deck to get a copy of it. So, it's going to show two fake cards and one real card. And uh, apparently, the update about this card is that it's class cards only. So, it will show three class cards from your opponent, uh, or of your opponent. And um, only one of them will be a real card in their deck. If you choose the right one, you get a copy of it. So this will be really good in Constructed, because in Constructed, you know exactly what everybody's playing, because everybody is those net decking people that always chooses the bullshit cards, and it's like, yeah, I know you got one Dragon Fire Potion, two copies of Dragonet Operatives, two Shadow Word Deaths, two Shadow Word Pains, two copies of Northshire Cleric, Power Word Shield. Yeah, I know your exact deck list, because you just stole it from some pro online, you're right. So this is the card that punishes that shit, finally. <laughs> anyway, um... So, your opponent has a very obvious card in their deck, it's like, oh, I wonder, did they put Shadow or Death in their Priest deck? Or did they put, uh, Mana Geode or Silence? And it's like, well, 90% chance, unless they're crazy, they chose the Shadow or Death, so you get a Shadow or Death, and that's really good. 
So, um, you basically just take the good constructed card out of their deck and you put it in yours, or your hand rather. So it's like a 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, draw a card from your opponent's deck, uh, which is great for fatigue because it doesn't draw from your deck. It's good for just control because it's extra card value. It's just pretty good in general because a 3-3 three, three stat line that gets you a draw card basically is really good. Slightly less good in Arena though because an Arena, you know, uh, sometimes you will guess wrong because you don't know what's in their deck. You, you might know generally what they're going to take. They'll always take Dragon at OP, but... um. Oh, well, will they win there's no dragons to synergize with? Probably. I think probably. In any case, um, sick and constructed. Decent in arena, just because lower chance of getting the right card. But you do have to kind of know the metagame. You have to know what stupid decks people are copying off the internet. And you get to punish them for that. Uh, less good against the troll decks, obviously. Because the troll decks, you'll probably think like, Oh, they totally put Entomb in their deck. But actually, you were wrong. It was the double mind control priest with Medivh. Uh -huh. Okay, so enough fun for today. Uh, I've been Dark Skeleton slash Demon Doge from Hell. Uh, let me know what you think of this card review down below. And hopefully, I'll be checking in with you guys in a couple more days as new cards come out. Till then, guys.